So uh, validity can be interpreted using expectancy chart. Yeah? So this is the result of the scoring of all candidates. So based on this expectancy chart, you might be able to identify which group uh, of uh, candidates that you should pay attention to. So those who are scoring highest, maybe you, you, you call them for interview. Uh, and then you, the second group, maybe you KIB and so on. Yeah? So this is the expectancy chart, which you can use in order to choose who you need to call for interview. Uh, problem with uh, testing, yeah? some testing could be biased. Uh, some testing could be biased and it happens in any organization when they do the uh, testing, they might end up with bias. What actually bias refers to? Uh, apart from uh, rec high recommendation from others, bias could be uh, because we are being, you know, being uh, mislead, uh, mislead by the uh, CV, by the resume, we could be misled by the attitude of the person who attend the pre-trial, for example, the pre-selection. Maybe you have this pre-selection te test in which you ask potential uh, employees to go undergo uh, uh, an, uh, a test or interview, pre-interview before the, the, the final interview. So maybe you could be misled by their body language by their look and so on. Because uh, the, the Merhabian formula actually I use to explain to the student about how strong it is when you speak to the audience, you have, you use the body language. Uh, according to uh, Merhabian was uh, proposed by a professor, the name is Professor Merhabian from University of California, I, if I'm not mistaken somewhere in 1970s, uh, he came up with this model in which he said that uh, when you give a speech, when you speak to others, uh, the content of your speech is not that uh, strong, that can uh, influence others. But if you apply the body language and the tone, the, the tone of your voice, it will influence others to believe in you. So basically, uh, this uh, model says that uh, sometimes we might be misled by people because they master the you know uh, the way of influencing others through their body language and through tone of voice. Uh, rarely people, uh, rarely people influence others uh, using their you know the content of their speech, but they you apply technique of body language and tone of voice to influence others. This is actually we use when we do uh, public speaking and so on. But again, uh, this for those who are good at this, they might use it to, you know, to mislead, mislead uh, improper potential employer. Yeah? And then uh, validity generalization means that once you have the right tools, and then based on the, the tools, you came up with good validity of data. So if you are planning to do another recruitment in the future, so you can use the similar tools because the, the validity uh, is suitable and can be used to the same group of uh, potential recruiters. And if you, your company want to do uh, future recruitment, but if, the position, for example, is not, if the position is similar or localized, then you, you can still use the tool. But if you have another uh, position to offer, which definitely not really similar to the previous one, maybe you have to test the, the measurement, the testing again, yes? Yeah? So to get another uh, new, Validity, but if same position, uh, so you just use the same tool without checking it because 
if you already validate, you, know, you have the validity generalization, it is uh, enough to be used to make the selection. Yeah? 